We asked her to reflect on his time in office. He had a lot of enemies in the beginning. I think he has just as many now. And um, so, but he maintained his dignity. Mark Johnson agrees. He was in graduate school when Obama won the White House and made history as America's first African-American commander in chief. Seeing him overcome obstacle after obstacle after obstacle, it eliminated a lot of excuses for me. Um, coming from a place like Baltimore City um, and overcoming mountains myself, I, I could identify. While everyone here has a different take on how President Obama's two terms played out, they agree that joining two million people to attend his inauguration was unforgettable. Just experiencing a, a level of love throughout a whole bunch of strangers that I've, I still haven't gotten back in my life before. It was a wonderful day, and I think it's a day that I will always cherish uh, and remember that I was there. As the group here at the Wilson home ponders what the president will do after he leaves office, they're already brainstorming about another possible bus trip to D.C. if the next inauguration turns out to be historic as well. Reporting in Randallstown, I'm Carrie Cavanaugh, WBAL-TV 11 News.